welcome you to my channel practice to perfect i want to thank all my viewers for your support and helping me cross the 1000 plus subscriber milestone if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to it by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon you can also connect me on facebook and follow me on instagram their links are provided in the description my today's video is for maths subject for the topic of ones and tens to explain the concept of ones and tens i will take an example here here i have so many pencils and i need to count them to find out how many pencils i have so let me start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 so i have 37 pencils this method of counting took a long time now i will tell you an easier way of counting and representing this number i can do that by grouping the numbers so i will make groups of tens and then find out how many groups of tens i have and how many ones are remaining so let me show you how to do that i will count the pencils 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so let me circle that to make it a group of 10 so this is 1 10 now let me count further 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 let me circle this again to make another group of 10 again i will count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and i circle this to make another group of 10 now let me count the remaining 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now these are just 7 and they do not form a group of 10 so we don't group it or circle it as this is only 7 so these form the 7 ones so from the picture we can see there are three groups of 10s and 7 ones So we write three in the tens place and seven in the ones place. Now, which is the ones and which is the tens place? The first place on the right is the ones, and when you go one place left of it, that is the tens place. Now I will show you how to expand it. Three tens is three groups of tens. That is, one ten plus one ten plus one ten. Now, what is one ten? One ten is just the number ten. So, three tens is ten plus ten plus ten, which is equal to thirty. Now, we will see what is seven ones. Seven ones is one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. That is, there are seven ones. So seven ones is nothing but just the single number seven.
So three tens and seven ones is thirty plus seven, which is thirty seven. Hope you have understood this method of grouping numbers and placing them under tens and ones places. Let us now practice some questions. Question one: Represent each number as tens and ones. See the first example. The number given is thirty-five. You know that the right place is for ones, and to its left is the tens place. So the first answer will be three tens and five ones. In the same way, complete the rest of the questions. Now moving to question number two. Make groups of tens. And then write the number as tens and ones, and you also have to write down the total number of objects that you see here. Now here you see so many balls. Count and make groups of tens, and leave the remaining as ones. Now using the grouping method, you have to find out how many groups of tens you have made. And how many ones are there? Then find out the total number of balls using the tens and the ones. Similarly, you have to count the stars here and find out the total number of stars by using the same grouping method. Here in the next picture we see that there are some oranges so follow the same rule that you have followed before to complete this question There is another question for some pens and the last question has some lovely cupcakes where you have to count the cupcakes and write down the answer Now moving to question number 3 Write the expanded form for each, and then write down the number. Now let us see the first example: two tens plus six ones. Now two tens is one ten plus one ten, that is ten plus ten, which is equal to twenty, and six ones is six, so twenty plus six is equal to twenty-six. Same way, you have to complete the rest of the questions. Answers for all the questions have been shared here. Hope you found this video useful. Please share your feedback in the comment section and keep watching my videos. Thank you.